Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome to episode number 97 here on season number two. And today we are getting into your taxes on acorns. These videos are meant for educational purposes only and not meant to be taken as financial advice. Uh, you are responsible for your assets and to properly protect them. So always do your own research and in by no means am I a tax professional, just merely sharing my experience with using acorns and how that affected my taxes. Cool. This question comes from The Beautiful Life, and she asked, did you get taxed on your returns from Acorns? And so real quickly to like backtrack, this was on one of my Acorns, I got like an 8% return or something like that. And so the, the simple answer is I will eventually pay taxes on those profits. Basically what I mean by this is that when I sell some shares or some stock, I'll have to pay taxes on the gains that I made on those stocks or ETFs through Acorns. I only have one rule of thumb, which is basically if you make money or if your money makes you money, then you gotta pay taxes on that money. That's like a song. Like, oh, if you make that money, you gotta pay taxes on that money. Hey, even if your money makes money, you gotta pay taxes on that money. All right, forget it. I'm, I'm just gonna leave. So for instance, on, on dividends, if you get paid a dividend throughout the year, you're going to have to pay taxes on that because that money came actually to you and then you re decided to take that money and reinvest it back into buying more stocks or ETFs that will pay you more dividends that you'll take and reinvest in there but you will have to pay taxes on those dividends basically every single year. So expect that. However, Acorn's growth does not necessarily mean that you will have to pay taxes or that I will have to pay taxes on the growth. For instance, my account right now, I think I have a, a actually like a 10% return on there and never have I had to pay taxes on the growth that actually exists on my account. The only time I would have to pay taxes on the actual growth is when I pull out some of my ETFs or some of my money, sell off those ETFs and then convert it back into US dollars to use it as tangible realized cash. For instance, if my account right now was sitting at $2,000 and next year at this time, I was up to $2,200 and I said, Last year at say like December, I was like, hey, you know what? I need some of this money. I'm gonna pull out $500. And so I pulled out $500. Yes, to some degree, I will have to pay taxes on that money that I pulled out because there's going to be some level of profit attached to that $500. But just having money invested into the market does not constitute you having to pay taxes. And also in the second case, say you had money invested into that account and it went negative. And then you decided, hey, you know what? I'm tired of losing money. I'm gonna sell my stock, ETFs or whatever. And so you pull your money out of that account. Basically, why would you have to pay taxes on money that you never made? That, that was your money that went in there post-taxed. And then you go to pull that out and losing money, the government's not gonna come knocking and be like, hey, you still owe us money because you already paid taxes on the money that you lost money on. You make sense? However, I think this is something that should be on your radar, especially coming around tax season because you don't want to be missed and not paying taxes on something that you should be paying taxes on. However, don't like overly concern yourself and get super anxious about paying taxes about it because Acorns does actually furnish a form that you can give to your tax professional or give to say you use TurboTax or H&R Block or you do it yourself. You can use that form. It makes it pretty simple and easy to track any profits that you made on that account. But we will go ahead and leave it right there. Let's go ahead and jump into the question of the day, which is what did you eat so much of that now you have hated? Learn to hate that you don't like anymore. For me, for me growing up and going to college and being at the same school for four years, I learned to hate the cafeteria food. It was literally, you could get the same food every week. It was crazy. I learned to hate the chicken nuggets that were there. I learned to hate the french fries. I learned to hate the pizza. I learned to hate about everything that they made. And finally, you learn to just start making stuff yourself. 
creating stuff in the cafeteria. You're like the chef. You do it all. You make the whatever, this. You, you toast the bread. You make your own garlic bread. Whatever you want, I mean, you pretty much make it yourself because you get tired of eating the same old, same old, same old. But like I always say, if you got any questions regarding Stash, Acorns, Robin, as well as general investing advice, business entity coaching, post those questions down below. Don't forget to subscribe up here, here and check out my Acorns recap, March edition. Check out this video right here. And as always, thank you for watching. I really appreciate it.